I will create another one. I'll right click a new file, new Python file, we'll call this one floats.py. I just want to show you that we don't always have to just store integers in a variable, we could also store float, floats and integers and decimals, or in other words, floats is really just decimals. So let's say my favorite number is 2.84, and we want to print out that number, my favorite number. You could print out decimals or printing now we call this variable a float because we're storing a decimal number into it. And this works with other decimals as well. Let's say 5.782. It runs. And so we have a negative number, negative 10.45. Let's see what happens there. Negative 10.45. That's it.